Hello, we're looking at some graphs here. This particular graph is a bar graph, sometimes referred to as a column graph. Here I have a title, number of marbles. So that's the title, this is what this graph is all about. We have a Y axis, which goes up towards the sky. Remember SKY, Y goes towards the sky, which is vertical, straight up. Horizontal axis, which goes across, is the X axis. X makes a cross, what do you think of that? X makes a cross, X axis goes across. And normally we'd have labels on these. So this one, the Y axis, I would label that quantity or amount. This one here has the people's names, so I would put names. And if there were 5D names, I'd put 5D names. So title, got a label for the Y axis and a label for the X axis. The question, who has the fewest marbles? As long as you know what fewest means, which means the least, the smallest amount, then you could try and work it out. Another thing we need to be aware of is the scale. Always starts at, on well, this particular case, starts at zero. Most of them do, sometimes they don't have to. Zero is in line with the x-axis. Has to be here, it's not up here, it's here. And they're going up in twos. Fancy word um, would be they're going up in increments of two. So zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now, if someone had just one, then it would be in between zero and two. So let's look at this. Who has the fewest marbles? Clearly, you can just look at it, whoever's got the smallest amount. And you can see that is Lee. Lee has, if I pull across, two. So Lee is our person here I'm going with. Oh, I have to put it on my computer. What am I thinking? Lee, it's my mouse, and Lee. Correct. Good work. Thank you. Number two. Who has the fewest tennis balls? Easy. It's the same sort of question. I'm looking for the smallest amount. Obviously, a kill. Again, has two. Another question might be, how many more tennis balls does Violet have than Don? So then I have to look at Violet. Oh, Scale's going up in twos, but this one's saying so looks like nine. Don has four, so then I'd say nine minus four, or nine take away four, would give me five. So the difference would be five. So Violet has five more tennis balls than Don. But back to our original one, Akil is our fewest tennis balls. Akil. Who has more playing guitar? These are the questions where you need to read the questions, perhaps twice, otherwise you might think you know the question, but you're not actually reading the correct question. Who has more planes than Sakib? So where I first I find Sakib is here, pretty much go across, clearly it's Zoe who has 10, Sakib has nine. So it has to be Zoe, she has one more. Who, oh here we go, who has four fewer, again, think of the vocab, the language, the words that they're using, and the word for fewer might be less. Who has four fewer lollies than Georgia? Now in New Zealand we've used lollies, other places might use candy, so they're sweets. Who has four fewer lollies than Georgia? First, I look for Georgia, here she is, she has 11, I might even write that on top, 11. So then I think 11 minus four would give me seven. So I'm looking for someone who has seven. So here's seven, I go across here. No, Jenny has eight, Samuel has nine, Phil has seven, so it must be Phil. All right, so give that a go. I'm sure you'll master it. Who has nine fewer pencils than Ellie? So Ellie's up here, 12 minus nine would be three. Look at three, 
must be Andrew. Easy.